These are our new seats that we're putting in the shuttle bus. We actually took them out of a older RV. They're a nicer captain seat. And they'll mount down on the bottom and this one has adjustments to it. And it swivels. And we had to make sure we had enough room in the back for it to swivel. And what this did was messed up our kitchen cabinets because at one time there's where the cabinet was going to come to in the chair but now with the bigger chair we're going to have to give up the cabinet space so we'll just make the space in between smaller here so it's a good thing we didn't make the cabinets before we put the chair in so we did think of that and it does swivel around it's just a little tight, hadn't been used in a long time. <laughs> so what that'll do is, now that'll turn to where at the front rocket can come and visit, or we can turn to the side and it'll be uh, with these two chairs and the table so we can all have dinner or play cards or something at the one table. So it's all set in place we'll bolt it down uh, and back here we'll go ahead and make our cabinets and we'll get a work table they're coming up next yeah and we're gonna put a like a work fold down table here It'll come down and the window actually gets cut out that insole board in the window actually gets cut out according to the frame so to have the full view of the window going out and then the door there. Here you can see the bolts where the new captain's chairs mounted down through. Uh, we'll secure those up a little tighter. It's just kind of there in temporary place right now. And on this side to the left, you can see it come down through a piece of actual steel. On this side, I've got these big old steel plates that I'll stick underneath this side to keep it from pulling through and those are actually half inch bolts coming down and so that's just under the underneath side uh, so you can see up front I've actually drove it up on a jack the tire itself it sets up there and you never rely on one thing so right there beside it underneath the frame uh, is actually uh, a, another jack that that it won't go nowhere so if something happens to the metal one underneath the tire this one here is actually a steel bottle jack that can't go anywhere uh, so if something did happen it won't squish my belly and I'll be okay I just thought I'd show you that. You always think of safety first when you're underneath a rig working on it. Uh, it's got the emergency brake on so it can't go nowhere and, and actual blocks underneath the black tires. So just thought I'd show you a couple things. Always play it safe whenever you can. Uh, this is where I'm gonna mount my water tank underneath. I'm just kind of showing you how I'm doing it It's gonna have all thread hanging down and a Piece of angle iron going back so on this side over here I'll drill it and hang it down. I'll show you that in a minute on this side. It had these existing So what I did was put like a half inch uh, They're called the coupling just like that right there so it threads up onto the existing bolt right there and then what I'm doing is threading the all thread into that and I'm putting some uh, they call it like thread tight so it's like a, a lock seal that you put on the threads I'll try to show you that here it's a it's a red stuff and it just squeezes out and it goes on the threads and so as you thread it in there it kind of locks it up and then what I've got on there is a, a double washer that I'm putting on it so let me slide it on real quick 
Yeah, you'll be able to see it in a second. So, so what it's got on there is a, a nut, a washer, a lock washer, and then another washer. I can catch this. And it goes up in there. So as that threads up in there, then the the red Loctite, a lock on there. And so that just all threads up in there. And like I showed you on this one here, I'll tighten that nut up against the other nut with the lock washer in between there. And what that does is that secures that so it don't come loose. And you can see the the red uh, thread tight on there. So what that does is it'll harden it up and it, it'll more or less seal that to where it won't come off of there. And then like I say, I'll do another one over on this side and you can see it once I get it done. I'm uh, just showing you how I'm using the existing bolt that was already there on this, uh, looks like a big rubber, so it's probably like a, uh, where the body mounts to the frame. So I'm just using the existing one on there. So catch you later with the update. There's a piece of angle iron there where you can see it's bolted up, bolted up to the frame. The angle iron goes from this one to this one. My water tank is set right in there. There actually be three of these coming down. Only got the one done now just to kind of show you how the tank's gonna set up in there. So it is set up in the little cavity right there. Won't hang down below. So we'll still have all my clearance and everything is like got the lock tight on it double nutted double lock washers uh, so it won't come loose so I don't have to ever worry about anything coming down so just thought I'd show you that there uh, and the angle iron and everything is all painted after I cut it so it won't rust or anything and we'll coat it with the undercoat at the very end once we get everything going whenever you need to cut all thread to a certain size I had to make 16 inch pieces out there and you just get a long piece and you cut it according to size but once you cut it it ends up with this pretty jagged edge on it so I'm going to show you and see a bolt won't go on to that but when you end up with it you end up where a bolt just goes right on it piece of cake so what you do this is a chop saw this is what cuts it with but so this is going to be a little noisy here and i'll just try to show you but this this part right here first you just grind it smooth <laughs> big nasty burr there and then what you do is you just take that same piece and you hold that at about a 45 degree and then you turn this on and as you do you rotate this So once you do that, that kind of grounds down that burr. So this is kind of what you started with. And now we're down to this and you just keep trying it to where, see once you get it smooth enough, then your nut just goes onto it just like a regular, a regular bolt. So this is what you start with, which is pretty nasty looking. Like you say, you just stick it in there and And then you'll stick it at an angle to fine tune that.
sometimes it takes a couple of times, but once you got it, then that bolt will just turn turn on there real easy, and you end up with both sides of your. So so I got both sides of this one all cleaned up, and sometimes you got to turn them on a couple of different times. And you just work them back and forth a little and, and then you end up with a, a bolt. So like I say, this one's 16 inches, that's what I needed. And you buy this in three foot, five foot, 10 foot pieces. And then you just make your own out of it. So that's how you take a long piece of all thread and make your own bolt. Cause that's what I had to do underneath. I need some 12 inch and some 16 inches. So that's how you do it. So there's the bucket talk for this one. Time's getting short. Gotta go catch you on the next one.